Okay everyone, welcome back to the channel for another video on the channel. We're going straight into some action here on Daily Race C from a few weeks ago and we came across a driver at P1 there. You can see him. We've met him before and he met Karma in the last video we did because he goes out of his way to try and ruin our races. We've got a few of these people that enjoy doing this against us. It happens on the EU with a certain few drivers but... It also happens on the American lobbies every now and then, but I have to say, recently, the American lobbies have been miles better, and this is a rare thing. This isn't something that you come across every day on the American servers, but yeah, it happened in these few races. So we're starting this race from the back of the grid. This driver on our right, I think, just lets us go there, and we're up into P12. We're gonna take a tight line, give him some space on the outside, and up into P12 straight away. So this is the first race we did we had to use the footage from the replay camera because i didn't record this one or i did and it didn't work properly but we managed to save we've got we had the replay so we could use the footage from there and luckily they get rid of the black borders now on the replays when you're using the gameplay footage so it's much much better so again we're going to go past p11 there on the inside nice clean overtake no real issues there and just make sure we break early enough to get this apex into this tight left hand corner now this is probably my least favorite track on gran turismo although I will say I did start again liking it a little bit more than I normally would do but it's still not one of my favorite tracks I just don't really like the layout but yeah definitely better than GT Sport for some reason I prefer it more than GT Sport so decided to back out of this it looked like we were going to be able to go for a move but I thought that was too risky we back out safer to back out and let them battle it out and we'll just get through this corner safely but we run a little bit wide there a bit of understeer following the cars in front very common on Gran Turismo with the turbulent air it's very very strong so yeah skipping a little bit further ahead and we actually come to a point where we can go for an overtake on that GTR which we do round the outside puts us up into P10 and P8 has a big moment on the curb there and somehow we get through that without any contact and we put ourselves up to P9 and now we've got the run on these two in front of us we've got the slipstream should we go for a move here let's have a little look we're gonna have a little look up the inside but then think no he's gonna go up the inside there so i decided to back out of that one break nice and early and see if we can get a better exit than one of them but both of them do pretty well on the exit there and um, we're gonna see if we can go up the inside there but no again best to back out of that we're not going to go side by side through there he would have probably shut the door on us anyway so it wasn't going to work so again following through behind them and we can skip ahead to lap three and we're still behind the same two drivers are battling it out and probably losing time but they're having a right good battle between themselves these two and hopefully they're going to battle that much that it's going to give me the opportunity to go back past both of them which nearly happens but i also nearly lose it on the curb the chicane of death the second one at dragon trail seems like they always have to have a chicane of death at dragon trail but yeah we're going into the braking zone was going to think about going up the move on the inside there but decided to back out of that when the other driver went for the move on the inside and that's actually giving me the opportunity to get past one of the drivers and up into p8 where p7 i think just nudged him a little bit but we're up to p8 now and seeing if we can get ourselves into that top seven we can see there's a few more drivers a little bit further ahead of us so fast forwarding why we're through this section because you can't overtake through that part of the track and then into the final corner this is always a good overtaking opportunity so we're going to try and break as late as we can onto the brakes almost drifting it through the corner there giving him space plenty of space on the outside there and we're going to take that position however he's got quite a good run on us behind is he going to be able to get back past we're going to the left hand side of the track to try and defend it however i think i missed my shift there i hit the limiter and um, didn't shift up early enough and he's going to go completely round the outside there we're going to try and hold the inside there give him some space on the outside and just about manage to hold on the inside and keep that p7 so going quite well so far in the race and actually the other drivers that we're coming across are really good they're giving us space there they're racing well it's only one driver that it takes to ruin a race pretty much and that is the problem at the moment it's just one driver every now and then i have to say though like i said at the start of the video the american lobbies are getting more competitive better quality and more fun to be in i've done i've been doing them every week again like we used to do on gt sport and it's definitely improving so that is absolutely brilliant to see the level of driving is improving the quality of the driving is improving and the pace of the driving is improving as we go side by side with husky hockey there in p6 great driving he gave us a space he pushed us to the edge of the space but he gave us enough space to get through the corner and that's all most people ask for is just enough to get through the corner so we go for a send up the inside there managed to make that one work held it on the track limits as well and got ourselves up into p6 now he's going to try and get our slipstream and possibly go around the outside there but we're going to defend the inside this time and try not to miss the gear shift which we don't do 
and looks like we should be able to hold this position now so into this really long left hand corner that just ne really tricky corner to get right that one I, I think I always lose a bit of time there but skipping ahead to the pit stop now we managed to get pretty close to p5 and we're going to go in the pits and you're going to see we're not going to refuel up decided that um not to put too much fuel in there or oh, actually did we put i think we might have put a bit of fuel in there actually so we could go aggressive we're on yeah i think we did there. looking at the fuel we must have put fuel in there so that means we're going to be able to go a little bit more aggressive however it does look like putting that fuel in has actually cost us probably a few places here we probably should have got gone without refueling up and would have got past both of these drivers however we're going to make the move up on P10 there. He's on older tyres. He looks like he's struggling. We're now on the faster tyre, obviously, now, because both tyres were required in this race. We started on the hard tyre. So now onto the medium tyre. So just about slowing the car down for the apex there. Get that move finished um, up into P10. And now see if we can get past these other drivers that still haven't pitted. So this is probably losing us quite a few seconds because, obviously, when you come out of the pits on a fresh set of medium tyres with fuel to use, you want to get on with it and really put them lap times down. Unfortunately, at the moment, we're having to be a little bit cautious. We can't really send it up the inside there. So, again, having to just wait and wait and wait until we got an opportunity. This corner here never seems to end. Never-ending corner. And the car in front, you can see, struggling with a little bit of grip. Clearly, his tyres are a little bit more worn than ours. He's put his um, hazards on there. I think that was a saying you can go for a move up the inside. So we're going to take that. No invitation required. And there we go, up in the inside and take that P9. I think he clearly was just letting us through. So again, there's evidence here that there's a lot of good drivers that have got a lot of race craft on these servers. It's just when you come across that one or two that don't want to drive like that. And then as we're coming down the straight here now, we're going to see that this is the driver. This is the guy that we've had problems with in the past. He likes to try and take us out. It's just quite common for him to do it. And we're right up behind him. I was thinking of going around the outside of that corner, but I totally thought, no, we're not going to do that. It's not worth the risk. He'll probably just take me out and push me off the track. So through the corner, through there, he doesn't get the best run out of there. We've got the slipstream on him here. So let's see what happens as we're going down into turn one. And you can see we're going to go to the right and then fake down the left. He goes to block it, then doesn't, leaves the door open. So we go up the inside here. We slow the car down perfectly, giving him loads of space. And look in the mirror. He just completely accelerates into us on purpose and rams us into the wall. Now, some people might say, oh, he might not have done that on purpose. But trust me, this guy has done this many of time. I knew he would do something silly. I tried to play fair with him. And yeah, he just took advantage of it and just took us straight out. So it was to be expected. It wasn't a big surprise. And you can see there he's going to finish the race ahead of us in P3 and we finish down in P6. So that race, unfortunately, not the best because of the incident. But we're going to go again and again we're up against the same driver. Now, we can have more incidents in this race. It's going to carry on. Um, we've got three races and there's going to be more incidents to come in this video. So make sure you watch this all the way to the end and hit that like button. And let me know what you think about some of this driving. Does this driving annoy you? Do you come across drivers like this that are behaving the same? Let me know in them comment sections. I do read the comments as much as I can. And yeah, let's hope PD can stamp some of this driving out. From what I've heard, possibly going to be looking at something in the future they can introduce, but I'm not too sure how it, you know, whether that's going to happen. It might not even happen, basically. So let's just fingers crossed on this one. But start of this race going quite well. We gained a few positions there. You can see bit of chaos going on behind us we're going to have a little look up the inside of p11 he breaks a little bit too deep there we're going to try and hold a really tight line there take advantage of that and we see another car go still on the outside so we're going to get past that car and up into p10 so a pretty strong start for us here on the opening lap and now we've got quite a lot of cars battling in front of us there these rolling starts have really improved and improved the closeness of the racing i think since they've changed it so again Credit to PD for listening on that. It only took them six years, but yeah, they got there eventually. So through the corners now, trying to take a tightish line, getting on that power as early as we can and seeing if there's an opportunity to get past these two drivers, the Canadian, the Brazilian battling in front of us. We've got a ghosted car, which I'm not. I'm hoping that issue is going to be sorted soon. Hopefully it's been fixed in the latest update, but haven't driven enough daily races to be able to tell that. The Brazilian goes a little bit wide there. We're going to have to give him a little bit of space there. He nearly, we do clip him a little bit, but luckily he stays ahead. And we see another driver off the track there. And that's going to be a free position up into P9. So we're going to get the slipstream behind the Brazilian and save some fuel. You can see into mixture six again. Might as well save fuel through this corner because you can't really overtake. It's not a position where you're going to gain a position. 
So now onto the straight. This is where we can get the overtakes done. Can we go for a move into the braking zone? Braking as late as we can. You see, really late on the brakes. Managing to slow the car down. Up the inside, a lot of chaos going on, on the right-hand side. And we're going to gain a few positions there. Can we gain P6 as well? We're on the inside of him. He gives us a space, and that is another position up into P6. The Brazilian in front of us is getting quite a lot of lag also in front of us there. Um, it does tend to happen sometimes when you're on these servers because it's obviously people from a lot further. In EU, it's a lot closer together with connections, but when you're on these servers, it's quite far away from some people that are racing on the servers. I think PD should really invest in some more servers on um, the American side of things, but yeah, that's up to them. So we're going to go past... P5 here on the outside. Can we go round the outside of him into this left-hand corner? It is possible if you break as late as you can. And we managed to break quite late. We give him some space on the inside. He's given us space on the outside. So fair play to him. He gave us space there and he raced it fair. So going to say try and find another way past him. So again, you can see the fuel saving going in as we're fast-forwarding it. And then what we're doing is saving fuel through there and then into mixture one for the straight so we can try and get past him. But we don't have to do much. He makes a mistake on the chicane of death. And we're up into P5. So pretty good starts this race. We're only on lap three and things are looking quite good. We're only six seconds behind. Stop the Steel, who is the driver. That's the the name of his, um, the driver that just took us out before. It's just that he's got a nickname on the replay footage. So as we skip ahead to lap four, we're going to have an opportunity to go past P4. Can we do a bit of an undercut? We kind of fake to move up the inside, then do a little bit of an undercut. And that's going to be P4. So a nice clean move up into P4. And now we're racing after zigzag in front of us there in P3. So again, putting a bit of mixture saving through the technical section. Not long before we caught up to P3. Lap 5 right behind him and hopefully going to get ourselves into a podium position. You can see the hard tyre is starting to fade a bit. We get quite a good exit off the corner. And I don't think he's going to battle that too much. He seems to just let us go there. And we're up into the podium position. So 6 seconds behind the leader. And saving a bit of fuel. Now we're going to go in the pits lap 6. Decided to get in the pits on lap 6 again. Do the 7 laps on the mediums. And this time we're not refueling up. You see no no fuel putting in that time. Because we were doing a bit of fuel saving. So trying to get a bit of an undercut this time. Because of what happened in the race before. And we come out in a nice bit of clean air. And by lap 7 you can see we've managed to catch up to another driver. Who hasn't pitted yet. And luckily he lets us through there. No battling. Just lets us through. He's got worn tyres. He's not going to fight it. So... Very good racecraft, again, because if he fights it, he's probably going to lose more time as well. So, again, skipping to the final corner. We see P7 going a little bit wide there. It looks like he's struggling with the tyres, nearly losing control on the accelerator. Both of them go in the pits. That is almost perfect timing for me as we go down the main straight and take them position. So, again, as we're coming down the main straight, we have the same driver just coming out in front of us there. Stop the steal. That is the driver that took us out before. And we're right behind him yet again. So will he play fair this time or is he going to play a little bit naughty? Well, let's wait and see as we come through here. We can see he's right up behind the Porsche. We're looking at it and just being a bit cautious here because not too sure when to go for a move or you know whether to go for a move at all with, with the way I know that he's going to drive these races. But you can see we have a little look up the inside here. We're not going to go for a move though. Just make sure we go back to the outside of the track and cut off the inside. As they bat a little bit of contact there. But he actually gave enough space to P4 just about. As long as you leave them the curb. Because you can use the curb as well. I think it's okay. And now into this right hand corner. Again using a bit of fuel saving. The P4 almost loses control driving over the grass there. Bit optimistic to go for a move there I'd say. And we're going to try and go around the outside. And into this corner but i just decided not to do it because it was pretty clear he wouldn't have left us any space on the outside there and again we've got a run on him here will we go for a move into the final corner so we've got the slipstream from him here we're going to go to the right hand side of the track and maybe try and go around the outside of him however with what happened in the previous corner decided to go up the inside and again try and take that inside line which i think that was fair up the inside Held the inside, gave him space on the outside. However, didn't get the best exit off that corner. And he's now going to get the slipstream to P3. And probably be able to drag his way back past us pretty comfortably. You can see the advantage of the slipstream. Pretty clear to see there. Um, but we have got the inside line. Can we hold it on the inside? And again, I backed out. Because it was pretty clear that this guy in P2 was not going to give us any space at all. So, backed out of that one. I think I would have probably cut the, the line off there as well. So, he, he was ahead. 
can't really complain at that one. But yeah, good job we backed out of it though because we would have been in that barrier. But we got a nice run on him now from the chicane. You can see them medium tyres. I'm not sure if he's on the harder tyres. Definitely got more grip than him. We're going to go to the right and then fake up the inside. Go for a late, late lunge up the inside. Braked it nice and early. Got the car slowed down for the apex. We're giving him space on the outside. And up into P2. He goes a little bit wide onto the kerb there. But he just manages to hold it. And now we're going to try and push on for P1. Now this is the guy that we've got the issues with. How long will it be before we catch him up? And let's see what happens. So... 1.6 seconds behind, but we've got a lot of fuel saving to do because we didn't refuel the car. And then by the time we get to the final lap here, we're finally starting to get close to him. But you can see I'm doing a lot of fuel saving because I had to do it. It was the only way we could get that on the cotton some drivers. And this is going to be the battle for the win. Can we find a way past? He makes a big, massive mistake in the chicane. This is going to give me the run on him. So we've got the run on him. We're going to go to the right. Was going to go to the right, but thought he would try and wipe me out. So went down the left-hand side. And now watch... As we're coming down, he pushes us into the barrier. This is all to be expected. This is why I didn't want to go down the right-hand side, because if I did, he would have just pushed me that side. And then taking the inside curb here. And then as we come through, he's going to brake check us. Watch the brake light straight on, slams us, and then slams us into the barrier. This is the type of driving that we're coming across sometimes. And to be honest, this annoyed me more than the actual driving. The fact that we got a 1.5 second penalty for being pushed into the barrier. And that is something that PD really need to look at because I think that's why they might have swapped Daily Race A as well And this week. I know they swapped it for um, that higher credit earning, but it's possible for that reason because if someone hits you into a barrier, you tend to get the penalty. And I don't think that's fair. The game should be detecting if you're getting hit. So we're going to go again. Now, keep your eye on the driver that's just took us out. He's going to let himself go down the grid. So he's obviously waiting to take someone out or me out or whatever. You can see him on the left-hand side here. However, we get past him. I'm not sure if he saw that. And so we get past him. And I'm thinking, right, okay. Wonder why he's going to the back of the grid. Strange move. Probably because he wants to try and take us out at some point. Um, straight into one of the braking zones because he's done that before. So into the chicane of death. A lot of chaos going on in front of us. You see a lot of cars going side by side. A car gets hit there. Somehow manages to save it with the, the little bit of a tap from fake taxi. And then there's a bit of more collisions going on ahead. Luckily, no penalties for us because we couldn't really do much there. But we're going to try and... Look in the mirror now. This is what we're looking out for. We see him going for the dive to try and take us out. He ends up hitting the other car. Now, as he rejoins, he tries to take us out, but completely messes up, wipes himself out. We look behind. We see him in the mirror, and he's took himself out. So let's just watch what happened at the start. So from this evidence, it's clear that it's not just myself that this guy is after in races, because watch this. Absolutely disgusting behavior. As we go through the grid, he completely takes that driver out on purpose. And that is absolutely vile. Disgusting driving. I will be forwarding this video again onto PD. So hopefully they can keep reference of this driver. Because it's happened before with him. So this is a second offence. So hopefully PD are going to look at it. Because it's not just myself. It's not my races only that he's ruined. As we see, he tries to take me out there. We avoid it. We saw it coming. And then watch the inputs as we go through here. We're going to show this again. It's quite funny because it's pretty clear he tried to take us out. But he ends up taking himself out. So on the kerb, look at his inputs. All the way to the left. Aiming for me. Hits me, tries to take me out again. We get through. He spins on the curb and he's pretty much out of that race. So now he's out of the race, we can actually have some fun. We can see if we can battle at the front and try and get ourselves towards the front because we do not have this driver in the lobby anymore. So let's see if we can work our way to the front and have a good battle. So we have another driver there, out of control there. I'm not sure what's happened. Probably on the curb. Very tricky curb on that corner. Another driver there in the barrier. Again, probably the curbs on this track. And we're up into P8. So quite a good start so far in this race. So again, skipping a little bit further ahead to lap two. And you can see we've managed to catch right up to this group of cars. A long train of cars all the way from P4 to P7 and myself and P8. So we've got some overtaking to do here, possibly some battling. Let's see if we can find our way through this group without any incident. Now we've got rid of that driver. Fingers crossed this can be a better race as we're trying to work our way to the front of the grid. So... Watching the replay cameras, you can see just how close this racing is and just how amazing this game looks also on these replay cameras. So again, into that final corner, can we go for a move here? We're a little bit too far back to even consider a move. However, a lot of drivers driving a little bit wide there. That's going to possibly lose them some exit speed. But no, they're all staying pretty much in line there, managing to keep it nice and clean. Great to see. And now we work our way to start lap three. So fast forward our way a little bit up the straight. And now zigzag goes a little bit wide. That's going to possibly give us the opportunity to go up the inside, which it does. I think he backs out of that, gives us the inside. 
and now we're going to be trying to get this chicane done the horrible chicane as we see a few drivers going a little bit aggressive on there hitting that curve quite hard and by the time we get to the end of the next lap sorry the start of the next lap we've managed to catch that group of cars up and we're right up into p7 so can we start making our way through this train of cars now is it possible to find a few opportunities so into the braking zone this is always a good opportunity to go for a send i love this corner for sending it braking just before the 100 ball we have a little look he breaks a little bit late we're going to try and take a tighter line than him get on the power as early as we can and yeah not enough traction to make that one work but nearly very close nearly up to p6 but yeah not worked that time let's see if we can carry on pushing as we see p1 pulling more and more away at this stage 9.2 seconds clear of us at this phase of the race so again watching them replay cameras as we work our way through the two right hand corners very very tricky i, I really don't like that long double it's like a triple right hand apex almost it's yeah it's a very annoying corner i find it very difficult to get that one right but it does look good when the cars are going through there and now into that final corner which again another overtaking opportunity but not close enough really to the action there p6 was actually closer to p5 had a little look by the looks of it but just didn't make that work as we get on the power but we got quite a good exit off the corner there can we go for a move on the main straight we're very very close but it looks like he's got the slipstream which is going to prevent us to go for the move into turn one so again just try and wait for our opportunity wait for a chance to get past these while they're battling maybe in the chicane of death up here a mistake might be made and we can see if we can grab a position or two so again this is the corner where loads of mistakes are always made again just being careful on the curve p5 seems to have got that all out of shape that's going to give me the chance to go past maybe both of them so we're going to try and go right down the middle in between both of them past the one on the right now side by side with the car on our left hand side can we break late for this corner as late as we can try and rotate it in we're going to give him space on the inside and now we've got another driver off track there we're going to try and go up the left hand side past that driver and we're going to try and make this move work on the right hand side to the other driver so into a podium position three positions in a matter of seconds there and up into p3 so now we've got to try and concentrate on putting some lap times in and seeing if we can catch up to the leader now the advantage we've got is we don't we're not battling we we're not battling with the driver that obviously crashed out at the start trying to take people out so we don't have to worry about that now so we can just do the strategy that we want to do so into the pits medium tires on and no fuel this time we're doing quite a bit of fuel saving it is going to be a struggle to get it to the end with the fuel that we've got left however it is possible we've got six laps left six laps left 5.2 liters of fuel that could be a problem but if we save enough fuel we might be able to make it work and you can see we managed to get ourselves very close to p1 by the final lap but do you know what we had a solid race no incidents after the guy wiped tried to wipe us out but wiped himself out and it was a good little battle we were gaining 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 on p1 but just never really able to get close enough to him to fight for that win so unfortunately didn't get the win but it was a solid race and it's better to finish p2 without getting wiped out than um, getting wiped out and finishing down in P10. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think about the driving you saw. And yeah, have you come across these drivers before? Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all soon for more videos and live streams. Bye everyone.